Hi, this is Joe with SoFly, and in this video we're going to show you how to set up data filters with WP All Export. So let's say I want to export all the products on my site that have been added in the last week, that are priced above $100, and are in the electronics category. So to do this, we'll add some filtering rules to our export. To add filtering rules, we're first going to have to create an export and then select a post type. We'll pick WooCommerce Products. And then we'll go down here to add filtering options. Now each rule consists of three things, an element, a rule, and a value. The element is what we're looking for. Now since we've chosen to export WooCommerce products, we're seeing elements like regular price, sales price, stock, visibility, height, width, etc. If we change our export to posts, the elements will change. And now we're seeing elements like ID, content, title, and so forth. But we're going to export products, so we'll change it back to WooCommerce products. And the first thing we'll do is select an element. I want to filter my products based on when they were added, so I'll select the date. Now the second part of the filter is the rule. We have a variety of operators in here, like equals, greater than, less than, I want all of the products that were added in the last week, so I'm going to choose greater than. And then we have the value. WPL export can recognize time expressions. So since I want everything in the last week, I'll add in one week ago here. That's going to make sure we're only exporting posts added within the last week. A published date greater than one week ago. Now we're going to add our second rule. We want to limit this export of products with a price greater than $100. So we'll select regular price, greater than, and for the value we'll put in 100. And you can see down here that the number of products that will be exported is updated as we add rules. And let's add our third filter to make sure we only get products in the electronics category. So we'll search for product categories and then we'll select contains, and then we'll enter in electronics. And we'll click add rule, and we're left with four products to be exported. Then we'll continue to step two, and here in step two we're going to configure our export file so it has all the information that we need. We don't really care about the content or the product type, but we do want to see the product categories. We want to see the price, and we want to see the date. So we'll add all of that in, and then we're going to continue and confirm and run the export. Great, let's open up our exported file and see how it came out. And there we go. All of the products on our site added in the last week with a price greater than $100 that are in the electronics category. And there you have it. With WPL Export, you can filter your data and export exactly the data that you need from your WordPress site.